Hey video bloggers, um, how are you guys? I'm coming at you from my freezing cold apartment and it won't warm up despite me turning off the air conditioning and everything. Um, I'm perpetually cold, I think, and it's not that fun. Um, but I've been good. I've been a little sick for the last couple weeks. Um, I think because it's changing seasons or trying to in Phoenix. It doesn't really ever change seasons, but it's trying to. So, I've been a little under the weather, not feeling so hot, but tonight I'm feeling pretty good except for being freezing. So, I am decided to do a video blog before I go to bed because I'm pretty cool on a Saturday night and I definitely don't party at all. I'm over it. I wore myself out last year. Um, I've been watching days. I've been keeping up with it. I'm a little disappointed that my favorite couple hasn't been on, but I've been done plenty of fan fangirling about it, even... Though, despite the lack of John and Marlena on my screen. Um, I like John being on my screen a lot, even though I'm a little, like, a little worried about him because he's, like, short-circuiting, like, big time, and he's, like, gonna die. And he better not die again, because that would just be retarded. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't like not seeing Deidre on my screen, but I hope that November Sweeps brings Deidre on my screen a lot more. Um, I've been fan grueling a lot because as most most of the Days fans probably know, there's a Days of Our Lives fan fest in LA on November 1st and I'm going. And I'm so excited about it because I'm going to meet all of my favorites. And it's like a dream come true, practically, because like I like wanted to meet these people ever since I started watching the show. They just seem like so down to earth people, like I want to meet them so bad. Um, and my two very good friends, one of my very best friends, is flying out to drive up to L.A. with me from Phoenix for the Fan Fest. And I think we're going to strive to be the most obnoxious people there. I don't think we're going to succeed because I think that there are definitely, like, more obnoxious days of our lives fans. But I think we're going to, like, come close. And I hope that there's, like, a prize for, like, the most obnoxious days fans. Because we definitely will get, like, second or third place. Definitely. Um, I'm making posters, and I'm making t-shirts, and um, it's going to be rad. So I'm really looking forward to that. Let me know if you're going, because, like, I'll tell you what my poster is going to say, and you can look for me, and you can come, like, we can hang out. Like, I want to, like, meet all these people I've talked to online for, like, ever. Um, so days of our lives. What's been going on? Um, let's see. Well, we have... John with his brain problems, which I'm a little concerned about. We have Marlena, who is being written horribly right now. I'm sure Deidre's going, oh, what the hell is going on with my character? Because it's not how I would be playing it. She's not being herself because she's not being written herself. Um, like, going through with this divorce thing, and, like, I'm going to divorce him, no, I'm not going to divorce him. I'm going to divorce him, no, I'm not going to divorce him. And then you have Kayla, who, in mid-sentence, changes her mind. She's like, she's like, I really think you're making a big mistake with divorcing him, but I really think that you should divorce him. What the hell, Days? What the hell? Days needs a new head writer. That's all I'm going to say. Seriously, I can't deal with all this, like, craziness. It's just confusing the hell out of me, and I already have enough going on. I don't need to be confused when I'm watching my favorite soap opera, you know? So, I mean, they need to sort their, like, problems out. Um, but Deidre looks fabulous as always, because she always looks fabulous, and I strive to look that good when I'm 30. So there you have it, and she's twice that age. So, yeah, here's hoping to looking as good as a 61-year-old when I'm 30. Cool! Um, but, yeah, what else? There's not a whole lot else going on. Like, I don't know. I don't really care about the Trent murder. I kind of care that they, like, threw Caroline Brady in jail. Like, what the hell? Caroline Brady. Seriously? Seriously, if she killed someone, she definitely had a reason. And it was definitely justifiable, probably. But this is just crazy with this whole thing. And I don't know. Melanie, uh, she's kind of annoying. She's, like, only a few months older than me. And I don't know. She just annoys me. So, I don't really like watching stuff with her. Um, the guy who plays Philip Kyriakis, he's really hot. He's really, really hot. I think it's like, his name is like Kenneth J. Johnson, I think. I don't know. He's real cute. 
like Jay Kenneth Johnson. I don't know his name in real life, but he's really cute. And oh my god, EJ, stop being so hot. You're killing me. He's so hot. Oh my god. I can't believe I get to meet James Scott, who plays EJ Wells. He probably has to have bodyguards around him or something. Like, he's probably gonna have, like, tons of bodyguards because there's probably gonna be girls, like, trying to legit get with him. Like, oh my gosh. So, what is it with, like, the no Tony and Anna on my screen? I'm not happy about this. I am, however, excited to meet Leanne Hunley and Teo Pinglis at FanFest. I'm so excited to meet them. I love Leanne and Teo. They're so funny and so cool. I'm so excited to meet them, among everyone else, you know. And Stefano, okay, I have to make a point about Stefano. I hate the bastard. I hate that he is always messing with Marlena. He's always messing with Marlena or John or, like, the, the Bl John Black or the Brady family. But... And I know that his intentions are pretty much bad for, like, wanting to raise his grandkids. But seriously, just looking at him with, like, Johnny and Allie, oh my god. I get, I find myself thinking that it's cute. And it's not good, because it's really not cute. It's, like, really, like, evil and sinister and malicious. But definitely, like, he was, like, calling, he was, like, calling Johnny, like, sweetheart and everything. I was like... Aw, Stefano has a soft side when he's trying to raise his grandkids to be Demera heirs. But, you know, even though he's trying to just raise them to, like, carry on the Demera name, I thought it was really cute. I hope I marry someone with the last name Demera, because that's a cool name. I just, like, I have to point that out. Demera is, like, a cool last name. I love it. I totally love it. Like, I love the way Anna said it the other day when she called John. She's like, this is Anna Demera. I think she's been hanging out with Teo a lot, and she's developing his accent, which is adorable, which would be so cute if she had an Australian accent. Um, but I don't know. The show right now, with John and Marlena not on, is not as interesting as I would like it to be. John is on, Marlene is not on. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm tired. I'm so tired. Um, oh, one last point. I really like the interaction between John and Nicole. I love that Nicole is like confiding in John. I see like the softer side of Nicole come out with John and vice versa. And it's kind of nice, but you never know what days. If they take it anywhere romantic, I'm going to punch someone when I go to LA next weekend or the weekend, three weekends after that. Because seriously, no. Nicole really needs to stay in separate storylines from John and Marlena. Seriously. I like I don't mind the friendship. I don't mind, you know, like Nicole confiding in John. I don't mind John confiding in Nicole. But nothing romantic because that would drive me nuts and I would kill someone. So here's hoping that this like the writers don't get any ideas. No nothing romantic, nothing sexual, nothing. Just friendship. Please can we have a friendship on days without it leading to sex? Can we, please? Please, please. Okay. So, other than that, I don't really have a lot to say. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but there really isn't much else to say. Um, Max and Stephanie, whatever. Kate, Chelsea, Daniel. Feel bad for Kate, I do, but whatever. Kate got with John in like 2006. Ew. Ugh. Um, so, without anything else I'm done I'm gonna go to bed I'm gonna sleep in tomorrow my friend wants to get up early and go get stuff to do tie-dye it's not happening I am a hippie I love that hippie stuff but like when it's early on a Sunday morning forget it we'll do it another weekend um okay peace out Cub Scouts I hope you guys are having a good weekend a good week a good month um I know it's becoming fall in certain parts of the country, not here. It's cooling down, but we don't have fall. We don't have trees with leaves on them to change, so no, we don't have fall. But I hope you guys are enjoying it if you have it. And um, so hopefully it won't be so long before I do another one of these. Um, and yeah, you guys have a good night, and I will catch you guys later. Bye!